Well, Team Roping fans, we just finished up the number 11 shootout where we gave away lots of money and lots of cool prizes. Well, here I am, folks, right down here in the shootout prize area. Lots of hustle bustle, lots of excitement, and rightly so because the winners of the number 11 shootout took home $102,500. That's just for first place. We're going to go to Farron Lucero to give us the breakdown. Thanks, Ben. That's right. We just paid out $412,000 in this number 11 shootout. Let's go ahead and get into the action right here, and we're going to jump in at the 23rd callback. It's a team of Garrett Chick and Riley Williams. These guys, 27-76, they come to the short round with nothing to lose here as they get backed in the box, and it's not going to take these guys long as Garrett gets it on them. Riley Williams, just a quick shot, 6-93. They're going to set the pace for us here in this short round. Now, not much happens from 23rd through 9th, so we're going to jump into the action right here on the 8th callback. It's going to be John Antu and his partner, Derek Hughes. This team out of Oklahoma come to the short round with a 26 and 19, needing to be 850 to be first. You see here as we go left, we stop the clock in 8 and 28. That's going to put them at 34 and 47, and they're going to take the lead. We move now to West Texas. It's a team of Joni Ivy and Lane Ivy. Here's a mom and son roping together in the seventh callback with a 26 and 16, looking to be 8:30 to take the lead. And they are going to come here. Joni going left and Lane Ivy. Well, he's going to put a stop on it. Sets the anchor down. They're going to be 808, 34-24. We've got new leaders. We move up to the fourth callback now. Here's Wesley Thorpe and Tyson Thompson. They're working with a 2508, needing to be 9 and 15. Wesley's going to get it on this steer fast. He gets a good get out, good start on this one. Tyson Thompson, he's coming off the junior high national finals. He's a champion on the backside, 7.03. They're going to be 32 and 11, and they put the pressure on the top three. We go to the third callback now. Here's Laney Lynch and Cody Joe Heflin. They are 24 and 36, needing to be 7.75 here in the short round. Laney here at the back end. Going left, and Cody Joe Heflin, he's just going to clean it up. They're going to be 9 and 59. That is going to put them second in the average. Now, second high callbacks, Lori Thone and Tudor Silver. They have a little bit of trouble here. That'll take us to the high team back. And the final team is Kirk Quaker. Ryan Geick, they rope here with a 22 and 85, and they can be on this one 925. Make it happen. Get it on right here, boys. Oh, there's the front. Now to the back end. It is not going to work for that team, and they are going to be on their run no time. So the win of the roping is going to be Wesley Thorpe and Tyson Thompson. They're going to be 32 and 11. They're going to cash in at $102,500. Brandy Clements had an opportunity to catch up with Wesley. All right, Wesley, you just won $102,000. What's going through your mind right now? Uh, I still can't believe that I did that heading yet. I um, wasn't that confident in my heading in the short go. But I, I, I was just going to try to go catch and win check. I didn't think we'd win it, though. Well, you won the prelim last night heading. You, uh, you, healing. Last night you won healing. Now you're heading. Do you have to change your game plan to go from the heel side to the head side? Uh, not really because Tyler Riggins let me borrow his sorrel horse, and that horse is so good. I mean, if you can't, I mean... Just pretty made my job pretty easy. Well, walk me through the run from the time you backed in the box till the end of the arena. Um, backed in the box, and I just wanted to let him out, make sure I didn't break the barrier, and uh, just try to go catch him. He was a good steer, and try to catch him whenever I felt right. And what about planning for this and you coming in here heading? How did you plan for it? Oh, I didn't do a whole lot of heading before I came. Uh, I just I knew Tyson Hill's good, and he's been roping really good lately, and. I was just going to try to go catch him and let him let him do what he's been doing. Well, were you feeling fairly confident after your win last night? I was feeling a lot better. I, I don't know if it was confidence a word, but I guess happy because I'd had a rough week all week and spent a lot of money and haven't won much. And last night kind of took the pressure off from today, but so I just had to kind of, I just could relax and go rope today. Well, you roped good. Congratulations. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Well, again, congratulations to Wesley Thorpe, borrowing that ho head horse from Tyler Riggin. Tyler Riggin, another textbook kind of style header, and we appreciate his help and efforts, and I know Wesley does as well. Now, Tyson Thompson, we mentioned earlier, was a junior high national finals champion this year. Let's see what Tyson had to tell Brandy. 
All right, Tyson, $102,000. How are you feeling right now? Oh, I'm feeling really good. <laughs> Well, pressure is not a new thing to you. You won the Healer Junior High National Finals, and then you came here. What about the pressure? What's the difference? Oh, there's just a lot more money here to be won, and got to rope another steer, and little times are a lot tougher. Well, did you have a game plan coming in here? Um, yeah, I knew Wesley was had a really good horse and was going to turn them pretty quick, so I just needed to catch all of them. So I just tried to do that, and it worked out pretty good. Well, now walk me through your short round run. What was going through your mind as you were riding in the box? Well, I rode in the box, and Wesley, he nods pretty quick, and he's already in the corner, so I hurried in there. Right about the time I turned around, he nodded, so I just I was a little late, and then Wesley roped him, and I just threw on the first shot I got. <laughs> well, congratulations. Great roping today. Good job. Just to recap, second goes to Laney Lynch and Cody Joe Heflin with a 33.95. They'll split 57800 Third to Joni and Lane Ivey with a 34.24. That earns them $46,200. Fourth to John Antu and Derek Hughes with a 34.47. They're going to get out of Oklahoma City with 34700 And fifth from the 23rd callback is Garrett Chick and Riley Williams. They're going to pocket $30,800. Well, thanks, Brandy. Thanks, Farron. Man, what a deal as we do wind up that number 11 shootout where Wesley Thorpe and Tyson Thompson take home the big money today, $102,500. Well, stay tuned with us. Keep up with us on Facebook, and, of course, you can follow us on Twitter. Also, go to YouTube and search The USTRC for all the Final Spin recaps and action.